Why does it seem like your ex is just so mean to you sometimes? That's what we're gonna be getting into in this video. So please stay tuned and if you like these videos, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe as well too. All right, so what can be really frustrating about a breakup or when you're uh, trying to get back together with your ex is when they're just so mean and so even cruel towards you. Why does this happen and what can you do about it? So you have to understand what goes through someone's head when they break up with you to understand what's going on here. And really what's, what's usually going on is when someone breaks up with you, they feel as if they have to justify that choice. You know, it's not easy breaking up with someone. It's not easy sitting down with someone and just saying, hey, um, this isn't working out. Let's, let's break up. Hey, uh, I, I, I'm going to destroy your dream of being in a relationship now. I'm going to destroy your dream of being with someone now. I'm going to destroy your dream of being married now, of having a family now, of whatever it might be. And uh, when that happens, it's not uncommon for someone to cry. It's not uncommon for both people to cry. And when your ex is walking away from a conversation like that, they may feel guilty. They may feel guilty for causing you to cry or to feel bad or to you know feel anything else. And so what we want to do is we want to understand this. We want to understand that they are feeling guilty and they probably don't want to feel guilty. So what do people do when they feel guilty and they don't want to feel guilty? They often try and think about what they did and, and try to rationalize it in a way that makes sense. It makes sense that they may have behaved a certain way or done certain things. So they might say, well, okay, you know, clearly there were problems in the relationship. I had to break up. Um, but maybe that might not be enough for them. And so they might need to maybe exaggerate certain things a little bit more. They might need to really play up the downsides of your um, relationship with one another. And instead of saying like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe you lied once. Now it's like, okay, you lied all the time and now I can't trust you. Or instead of saying, um, yeah, you let me down that one time. You, oh, I could, I, I could never count on you. Um, this is basically them creating a version of you, not, not the actual version of you, but a clone of you to live in their mind that's worth breaking up with. Instead of someone who was, you know, afraid to spend too much money because you're on a tight budget, you've now become someone who's stingy, someone who doesn't like to enjoy life, someone who doesn't like to, you know, take them, your partner out and enjoy nice things together. This is the sort of twisting that occurs, the distortion that occurs when someone goes through a breakup. Um, you know, obviously, unless something like truly terrible happened, like, you know, oh yeah, I caught you in bed with someone else or something like that, right? This is the kind of distortion that happens. And this is the version of them that they're thinking of. They're thinking of the stingy person, the cheater. They're thinking of the liar. They're thinking of someone who just couldn't be trusted at all. And when they see you, they're not really interacting with you. They're interacting with this version of you that lives in their head that was worth breaking up with. This version of you that was worth going through all that effort and worth all the tears and worth causing them to cry and worth all of those thoughts of, hey, am I a bad person for hurting this person's feelings? Of course, if you are someone as terrible as this other person, yeah, it would make sense to be mean. It would make sense to be cruel. It would make sense to maybe do all that. I mean, maybe you wouldn't do it anyway, but at least you could understand it, right? When this happens, you need to understand that they're not really interacting with you. They're interacting with this version of you that's not even real. It's a version of you that lives in their head. And so what do you want to do? Well, you want to show them that this version of you that lives in their head is inaccurate. You want to show them that this version of you isn't really who you are. And the way that you do that is, well, before we go ahead and get into that, if you like these videos that I'm doing, please make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. It helps us out with YouTube. It helps us out with the algorithm and all that stuff. And please make sure you subscribe to the channel as well, too. That also helps us. So anyway, uh, the way that you do this is when you are interacting with them, you have to make sure that you are not anywhere close to being that version of you that they broke up with. You have to make sure that you're not that person at all. And the way that you do that is by just demonstrating to them that you are the person that you want them to, to know you as. Embody that. 
be that. Don't put on a performance. Don't put on an act, but genuinely become that. And if you genuinely can become that, then you're going to cast doubt in their mind. They're going to say, hey, I broke up with him because I thought he was this dirtbag, or I broke up with her because I thought she, you know, was terrible or something. But we just got together. We just talked on the phone. We just had a coffee. We just whatever. And it wasn't so bad. Was I wrong? Maybe that was just her on our best behavior. Maybe it was just her putting on an act, right? So right now we just have the, the smallest shred of doubt. And your ex is going to think that maybe that was just a fluke. Maybe that was just you on a good day. Maybe that was just you on, on, on your best behavior or something. But if you continue to do this time and time and time again, you're going to start to erase that negative image of you that they have in their mind. And you're going to cause them to realize that they've made a mistake. That you're not that terrible person. You're not that person that was worth breaking up with. You're totally fine, great, wonderful, amazing person that I'm sure you are. And that is exactly what we teach you how to do um, with our totally free thing that we have here called this kaleidoscope. All you have to do is listen to it every night um, while you're sleeping. It's going to program your unconscious mind with subliminal messages that really help you to bring out the best version of yourself. So go ahead and check it out right over here. Anyway, thanks so much. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.